Yo, AB Academy, what's going on? I got an interesting video for y'all boys today. So this video came about, let me put you down. So y'all see the title of this video, I ain't gotta say that no more. This video came about, I was talking to somebody I know about doing YouTube. And he do YouTube, but he not serious about YouTube. So when I related it back to the streets, to the streets, he instantly got it. He instantly understood it. He instantly was like, wow. It's like that for real. And a lot of people don't understand, bro. Business is like the streets. And the reason that I made this video is because of that conversation and as well as I was just at my um at my bank and I was talking to the business manager. He said the same thing. He said business is like the streets. He was from the same side of town as me, bro. He literally went to the same high school as me, bro. My business manager at my bank, he went to the same exact high school as me, right? But you will never understand or you will never you will never even know that he came from that type of environment. You will never know by how he talked, by how he walked, by how he dressed. He's the head business person, business banker at that bank. And you will never know where he came from, right? And he told me, he was like, bro, this business is like the streets, bro. Like, you got people that's trying to kill you. Like, not, not physically, but theoretically, hypothetically, they're trying to kill your business, bro. That's how it is. Business is like the streets. And how I'm making this topic right now, I was talking to... Somebody I know, I'm not going to tell y'all who I was talking to, but I was talking to somebody I know, and he is in that life, you feel me? He's in that lifestyle, he's done a couple things, he has, you know what I'm saying, did shit that's involved in the street mentality, you feel me? Disclaimer, I never did no street shit, I never claimed to be none of that, never want to be none of that, you feel me? I always felt like that was not a flex, you feel me? So, just, just a disclaimer, I'm putting y'all down, I'm not claiming to be none of that, you feel me, but I know how to operate, I know how to talk in that type of situation, so I was the perfect person to tell him what I'm about to tell y'all, so the argument was this, right, he had a video, and he never posted his video, and the reason he didn't post his video is because somebody didn't give him his final edits, and he never even, you know what I'm saying, like pressed the issue or went deeper into the situation, he just did a video, sent it to an editor, editor never sent his video back. Simple, right? That's his situation. So I told him this, bro. I said, P-Game, treat this like it was a street situation. And I don't mean pull up on them and shoot them, no. I mean act like it was a product because that's all this is, bro. If we start treating this social media stuff, I'm going to put it and relay it in social media because that's what I do and that's what I was telling him. I do YouTube, that's social media, that's um, content, right? So put it in, in, the, in the senses of, this content is your product, right? The content is your product. And when I say product, that's something you sell, that's something you distribute. The content is your product, and I put it in terms of, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what people sell. I ain't got to say the word. Y'all know what I'm talking about, what people sell. So I put it in context of that. I said, now replace with videos, right? Would you let somebody play with your, would you let somebody play with your product if you were selling on the street, he said, hell no, nah, ain't nobody playing my product. I said, so imagine you got a, a zip a zip of some product, and from that zip, you sent it to somebody to break down, bag up for you, and to bring it back. But when you when they broke it down and bagged it up, they kept it. What would you do? Hell no, nah, that ain't happening. I'm going to get my shit so I, can, so I can sell my shit. I said, bro, it's the same thing with the content. Why would you make this content, send it to somebody so they can break it up, edit it? and send it back to you. And then once you distribute it, post in it for your community, for your audience, and make your money, my nigga. Why would you let somebody, you know what I'm saying, fuck your process up like that, bro? If anything, if you see that they messing your process up, if you see that they messing your product up, get your product and bag it yourself. Get your product and distribute it yourself, bro. You feel me? You don't gotta rely on people, you feel me? Especially first coming up. like. First coming up as a drug dealer, bro, you probably doing it yourself. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got people in your operation. You doing it yourself. Like, I know it's, it sounds crazy that I'm saying it like this, bro, but this is just a small example of, like, if you treated it with the severity of a street-like situation, everything would be better. Everything would be more, you know what I mean? It would be more organized. Everything would be more fluid. Everything would have this seriousness to it. I feel like since it's social media or since it's business, people kind of put that, oh, all right, it's whatever type of vibe to it, type of time to it. But I know a lot of people in this YouTube shit that really treat it like the streets. And the fact that they treat it like the streets is, is such a seriousness to it, bro. I was at a video shoot one time with a very popular YouTuber. Y'all know who he is. I ain't going to say his name. But 
during his video shoot, it was a studio video, he told everybody, he was like, it was a lot of girls in there, they was talking. He was like, hey, yo, y'all be quiet. If y'all gonna keep talking during my video, y'all can leave. There's a couple things I don't play about, and one of them is my money. And, like, he talking like a whole drug dealer out this bitch. Oh, my mama, he talking like he just, like, sold some shit, you feel me? That's how he talking, but he's literally filming a video that's going to be distributed to his massive amount of fans, and the fans are going to consume it and want more. What does this sound like, bro? Literally treat whatever you're doing like the streets. Say you making clothes, bro. If you making clothes, bro, make sure your product is the best on the streets. Make sure you know what corners you're going to hit so you can distribute these clothes. Make sure you sell these clothes the right way. The only thing that's different about the streets and the business is business is legal. It got its own sets of rules just like the streets. The streets got a street code, business got a business code. Learn business, bro. Why are you why are you listening to this music learning how to be street? That shit don't get you nowhere but dead or in jail, bro. Literally take all the stuff you know about the streets, put it into business, learn the business rules, learn the business codes, learn tax codes, learn the learn the various ways that you can get out of paying taxes. Bro, it's literally wicked in the business world. You can do so much. You can write off everything in your life. You can pay yourself through your business and you get a check from yourself. And now... You don't have to pay taxes on, bro, it's, it's wicked, bro. Learn that instead of learning how to, no, we doing it the wrong way, man. And I'm here to tell y'all that y'all doing it the wrong way, but it don't got to be the wrong way. Literally everything you learn in the streets, transfer that shit to YouTube. Do YouTube like you like you hustling, you know what I'm saying? Like you hustling on the corner. Do that shit, do that shit with YouTube, bro, and it's going to be... Making a lot of sense, bro. That's all I got to say to y'all, man. Treat this shit like the trap.